Hello, J4 students. Welcome back to one of Ms. Farah's lessons. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a great time. Um, so yesterday you had a surprise lesson in which you didn't have to do any homework. And today you're going to have a very fun lesson uh, in which you don't need to do your GP or you don't need to read the book. Instead, for this lesson, you're going to need one piece of paper and one pen or pencil. And I'll explain what you're going to do in a minute. Okay, so for this lesson, you are going to draw a picture based on the description that I am going to say out verbally, verbally. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a scenario which is from James and the Giant Peach and you need to draw it out. Now remember, you need to give me back the uh, this piece of drawing when you come back to school. So if you have color pencils, you can color it over the weekend. So that's your homework for the weekend. If you don't have any colors, uh, then it's okay, but you need to draw it out on a piece of paper. That's a must and you need to hand it back to me. So. So basically a picture description. Um, so now, for example, okay, so if I if I say something like, oh, there was a very beautiful um, house on top of a hill. So what I'm going to do, listen to uh, listen for the keywords, there was a hill, and there was a very beautiful house on top. Okay, um, don't mind my drawing. It's not as beautiful as maybe I set it out. Oh, it looks like it's about to fall over. But anyways, so I'm sure all of you can draw a lot better than me. So anyways, and then I will describe it a little bit more and you have to draw it out more, like draw in the details as well. Okay, so I will give you one minute to go find a paper and a pen. You may pause the video in here. Okay. So welcome back. Um, now, I'm sure you have a piece of paper in front of you. Okay, once again, a paper and a pen or pencil. Okay, to draw it out. Now, if, if you miss any detail, you can go back uh, to the video and hear it again. Okay, so each object or each detail will be given some points and you need to try to get all the points. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> so you need to draw the surrounding, okay? Not the, um, you may draw the people in it, but you don't need to draw what's happening. Um, like for example, he lived peacefully. So you don't need to draw James living peacefully. You just draw him out, okay? He lived peacefully with his mother and father in a beautiful house beside the sea. Okay, I will repeat the sentence. So, and I will write down the key words in here. Okay, so James lived peacefully with two people, okay? With his mother and his father. in a beautiful house beside the sea beside that's the key word in there beside the sea okay you may pause the video in here and continue with your drawing okay i'll repeat it for you once again so i'm sure you have drawn the picture by now so i'll repeat it he li James lived peacefully with his mother and father in a beautiful house beside the sea. Oops, that was my carpet in here that just fell down. Ignore that. Okay, so I'll remove this. Uh, if you need more time, you may pause the video or go back and have a look at the keywords again. Okay, so let's continue. Now you need to draw out these things as well. There were always plenty of other children for him to play with. And there was the sandy beach for him to run about on. 
and the ocean to paddle in. It was the perfect life for a small boy. Okay, so I'll repeat this again. There were always plenty of other children. So these are the key words. Okay, for him to play with. And there was a sandy beach. Okay, sandy beach. For him to run about on. You don't need to draw the actions. Okay, that's fine. But make sure these objects are in there. And the ocean to paddle in. So you can just draw out the ocean. There is no need to draw, you know, James paddling in there. Okay, so um, you may go back to the audio and hear this part again and draw it out. Okay, so you may pause it here if you want and continue with your drawing. Okay, so I hope you have a very um, a nice picture now. Um, at least make sure it has the key elements in it. Okay, so I can't wait to have a look at your pictures and you may color it over the weekend. And if you have any problem um, doing this homework, please let me know in the Google Forms. Okay, thank you. That's all. Bye-bye.